April 27th, 2022, 7.40 p.m. We out here in the woods today. It's taken me maybe a few days to record this video. I wanted to get out and do some foraging in the woods located near my school. Just farted. For the school that used to be my school, you know, I'm a 20 year old man now, which is weird to say because it feels like I just graduated high school yesterday. I was here two days ago on Sunday or Monday and there was a ton of wild ramp. And what wild ramp is, is it's basically onion. And it tastes really good. You can put it in salads, you can put it on top of your sour, homemade sourdough pizza. And I brought a basket here, which I thought was big, right? Maybe it was six inches tall. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna be able to get all the stuff in the wood. I, I picked for maybe one or two minutes and filled the entire basket. So today I brought my entire pack basket. Look at that thing. By the way, fit check real quick. We got Got the vans checkered vans right my mommy brought them for me my first year of 11th grade we got the mario socks we got the basketball shorts right and we got the wool the wool shirt and we got the my chemical romance shirt this is optimal wearing for foraging but when i was here monday it was actually 80 degrees out and now it's wednesday and it's 30 degrees and snowing uh, it's quite crazy how fast the weather changes in new york so we're gonna get picking Here they are, baby. They taste so good. So if you wanna get out here and pick them yourself, make sure you smell them first and be like, oh yeah, these smell like onions. <laughs> don't want you to be eating some poison because you saw some random weirdo on the internet doing it. Just don't be retarded, kids, while foraging. Oh, that's a deep basket. We got a lot to fill up. Yo, there's a fox mound over there. And I just saw a baby fox come out. That was so dope. I wish I had my camera out. I was just trying to enjoy the moment. And then I see that and I was like, man, I wish I could have shown somebody. Dang. No way, guys. Look at him. I hear them underground, but I definitely scared them off trying to get close. Here's their burrows. And as you can see, there's like a ton of feathers. It is absolutely foul smelling over here. Oh yeah, look at that, dude. That is so dope. That is so cool. I love how nature just is awesome. <laughs> All right, well, I think I picked a good amount. This is way more than I can eat in a couple of days while it's fresh and keep keep frozen. So I'm just gonna chill with this much. May get some more tomorrow. I don't know, but it's pretty freezing out. My, my hands are very cold. While we're on the topic of foraging, because foraging is part of life. Forage food that's given to us by the land and eat off of it and survive off of it. So let me talk a little bit about light. <laughs> I'm... I'm kind of really upset at myself because for this entire year, I consistently posted every single week with a little videos here in between with that new series that I'm doing. In fact, I haven't even done the second video of the series because every single time I wanted to get out and record for the series, it was the most awful weather, just downpouring or it was like sleeting out and it was really gross weather. So I didn't want to record at that time because for me, for a long time on YouTube, I always forced myself to do stuff. And it's kind of at the point where I no longer want to force myself to do things on YouTube because I want to keep it as a hobby. I don't want to look at YouTube as a job because because when you look at YouTube as a job, all of a sudden you hate doing YouTube and it becomes super unsustainable. And <laughs> what ended up happening was for a few weeks, I didn't do anything. But I guess that's all a part of really making this a hobby rather than a job is not getting upset when you weren't consistent for two weeks because hey, I went four months without life getting in the way of YouTube. And in fact, I've been enjoying my time these last two weeks. So why would I get upset about that? Oh. Holy crap, I just flew fort. Well, I already knew this was here, but I thought I'd show you guys just cause it's cool stuff. This is probably man's worst fort ever. <laughs> this ain't gonna protect you from nothing. This is like some Blair Witch Project type fort. It's like got a fire TP set up. Like this won't be the most dumb fire these people ever had. <laughs> 
I'm glad there are children getting out here and doing fun things. I'll give you a little update on my life, not that anybody cares or I don't really care. I kind of see YouTube as more as a documentation somewhat. So I got, I just got hired at a new job and I'm hopefully going to be working five days a week now. I'm really excited in life, really. I haven't had a real job in a long time, it feels like, and I just want to get back to it. I want to feel like I'm moving forward in life. I also feel that there's something stopping me. There's something that's scared of succeeding almost. I don't know if that makes any sense, but there's there's this voice in the back of my head that's telling me stay in the position that you're in and just be comfortable. And it's really, really weird because I've always been a person to just go head on into situations that make me super uncomfortable. And now all of a sudden for the first time ever, I have this voice telling me stay comfortable. And that's such a weird thing for me. It's been very odd because I think it's part of the thing that also holds me back wanting to do you. YouTube these last two weeks of course other things got in the way and overall I just think life is weird and there's just so many awesome experience to be had and I'm excited to have this new job so what it is is I'm a cook at a restaurant so yeah I'm I am I'm doing skilled work I'm quite excited for that really you're not gonna break break your back doing the work but it's also skilled and engaging it's not something that you can just zone out doing. It's something you have to pay attention to and make sure you put really good quality and effort in. And that's what I'm looking for in a job. All I have to do is just get, get my license now because all I have to do right now is get my license because I have to take the bus to work and then get a taxi drive home <laughs> and that's not sustainable at all the taxi drive alone will be taking all the wages from the day but i had to guarantee myself a job until i can get my license and actually getting the job makes me want to get my license even more and putting a lot of work and just sucking it up even though sitting in a car hurts my back a lot it's a really cool trail behind the school i just never even knew it existed look at this that is awesome things I'm looking forward to in life right now. Just continuing doing YouTube because I enjoy doing that still. I don't know how doing my YouTube channel will change with this new job and it's definitely going to change for sure. I don't know whether it's going to be they'll do weekly uploads or it's going to be just a little different content or if it's going to be stretched out content with a steam. I don't know. My channel's always changing and evolving so i'm not really going to rely or think about what's going to happen in the future and i'm just going to kind of let it happen feeling motivation again i'm out here right it takes motivation to be out here doing this got to be appreciative of that be grateful i'm really happy that i saw those baby five i will admit though i want to hunt it down now <laughs> with my coon hound oh josie would go crazy Mm. Want to know how I got this fox belt? Mm. It was a good day of foraging. We got a little food, a little sustenance, a little anti-inflammatories through the onions. Well, I think that's a good time to end the video off. Thanks for watching, guys. It's just, there's a lot to be grateful for in life, and I'm pretty happy that I have this life. And it's just crazy that I'm here doing YouTube. There's a lot of things coming in the future, man. I can't even explain the joy that I have. Thanks for watching.